Okay, guys. Hey, internet. Watch us draw and talk Emily Pankhurst. So, well, welcome back to day 26 of 30 days of drawing dead people, aka turning celebrities and historical figures into zombies. Anyway, um, if this has been your thing and you've been really enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button down below. And anyway, let's get onward to that doodle. So, Emmeline Pankhurst, born Emmeline Goulden, on July 15, 1858, was a British political activist. She is best remembered for organizing the UK suffragette movement and helping women win the right to vote. In 1999, Time named her as one of the 100 most important people of the 20th century, stating that she had shaped an idea of women for our time, and she shook society into a new pattern from which there could be no going back. She was widely criticized for her militant tactics and historians disagree about their effectiveness, but her work is recognized as a crucial element in, in achieving women's suffrage in the United Kingdom. Born in the Moss Side District of Manchester to politically active parents, Pankhurst was introduced at the age of 14 to the women's suffrage movement. She founded and became involved in the Women's Franchise League, which advocated for suffrage for both married and unmarried women. When that organization broke apart, she tried to join the left-leaning Independent Labor Party through her friendship with socialist Keir Hardy, but was initially refused membership by the local branch on account of her sex. While working as a poor law guardian, she was shocked at the harsh conditions she encountered in Manchester workhouses. In 1903, Pankhurst founded the Women's Social and Political Union, otherwise known as the WSPU an all-women's suffrage advocacy organization dedicated to deeds, not words. The group identified as independent from and often in the opposition to political parties. It became known for physical confrontations. Its members smashed windows and assaulted police officers. Pankhurst, her daughters, and other WSPU activists received repeated prison sentences where they staged hunger strikes to secure better conditions and were often force-fed. As Pankhurst's eldest daughter, Christabel, took leadership of the WSPU, antagonism between the group and the government grew. Eventually, the group adopted arson as a tactic, and more moderate organizations spoke out against the Pankhurst family. In 1913, several prominent individuals left the WSPU, among them her younger daughters, Adela and Sylvia. Emmeline was so furious that she gave Adela a ticket 20 pounds and a letter of introduction to a suffragette in Australia and, and firmly insisted that she emigrate. Adela complied and the family rift was never healed, while Sylvia became a socialist. With the advent of the First World War, Emmeline and Christabel called an immediate halt to the militant terrorism in support of the British government's stand against the German peril. They urged women to aid industrial production and encouraged young men to fight, becoming prominent figures in the White Feather Movement. In 1918, the Representation of People Act granted votes to all men over the age of 21 and women over the age of 30. This discrepancy was intended to ensure that men did not become minority voters as a consequence of the huge number of deaths suffered during the First World War. She transformed the WSPU machinery into the Women's Party, which was dedicated to promoting women's equality in public life. In her later years, she became concerned with what she perceived as the menace posed by Bolshevism and joined the Conservative Party. She was selected as the Conservative candidate for Whitechapel and St. George's in 1927. She died on June 14, 1928, only weeks before the Conservative government's representation of the People Act of 1928 extended the vote to all women over 21 years of age on July 2, 1928. She was commemorated two years later with a statue in Victoria Tower Gardens next to the Houses of Parliament. Anyway, that's just a little bit about Emily Pankhurst. I'm pretty sure that you can sit there and go into Google and discover so much more. If you know any fun facts, definitely feel free to share them down below. And if you like this video, definitely hit the like button and subscribe to find out who we end up drawing next and turning into a zombie. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing awesome. That's pretty much it. Bye. Whatever it is that you believe you're seeing, it's not, 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 not real. Seeing things before they happen. Things are not always what they seem in this place. You can't take anything for granted.